The 15 Most Valuable Asian Companies in 2020 Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello Aluxers and welcome back for another exciting video brought to you by our team here at Alux.com. Today we're brushing up on our knowledge of the most valuable companies in Asia. This list only includes publicly traded companies because this way we can provide you with more accurate and reliable data. The data for this list was gathered from Bloomberg and it's based on each company's market capitalization, not market valuation, which is way more complex to measure. The market cap of a company is a simple metric based on a stock price. You multiply the number of shares outstanding by the current price of a single share. Simple and reliable, right? But bear in mind that these numbers and rankings can change at a moment's notice. And just to give you a heads up, this list is comprised by companies predominantly from one country in particular. With that said, let's jump in and take a look at the top 15 most valuable companies in Asia. Number 15. China Merchants Bank $138.24 billion Starting off with a financial institution that offers leading banking services in China as well as abroad, the firm was established back in 1987, and ever since, it's won a number of accolades including Best Commercial Bank of China, the Best Retail Bank in China, and the Best Private Bank in China, which proves how dedicated and committed they are to their customer base. The bank operates all the standard banking services, together with foreign exchange trading and gold trading, among others. As the era of fintech becomes more and more a part of our lives, CMB aims to lead this generation to a bright future where science and technology can help them provide affordable financial services to people from all walks of life. Number 14. The Bank of China $147.63 billion being founded back in 1912, the Bank of China is the oldest bank on our list as well as the oldest company on our list. This major bank provides services in personal, investment, and corporate banking, as well as treasury operations and insurance. Despite raising rates and tightening liquidity, BOC is reporting booming profits and is expected to grow its market cap as well as increase its profits again in 2020. Number 13. PetroChina $148.51 billion Ever since it was established back in 1999, PetroChina has rapidly become a giant specialized in the exploration, development, production and sale of crude oil and natural gas, as well as other businesses. Increase in demand and rising global oil prices have helped this company in the past increase its market value exponentially. However, nowadays, with the rapid global shift toward renewables and constant pressure from the public to stop destroying the environment, companies that provide services relating to oil and gas will have to shift their business focus or prepare for the worst. Number 12. China Mobile – $174.98 billion China Mobile has proven itself to be an incredible company that cares for its customers and its employees, as well as investors. It's won top prestigious international awards, including the award for Best Investor Relations Company in Asia and Asia's Icon on Corporate Governance Award. With over 900 million users, China Mobile is a giant in its field that provides top quality telecommunications services to its customer base. And with the rapidly developing Chinese economy, the company is bound to increase its number of users as well as its market cap and profits. Number 11. Agricultural Bank of China $181.74 billion ABC has become a pillar in the Chinese economy, providing financial services to customers both locally and globally ever since it was founded back in 1951. A few years ago, this bank was technically insolvent, however China's big push to develop its emerging economy potentially boosted ABC to become a major player in the financial industry. As the country's biggest rural lender, the Agricultural Bank of China will surely see an increase in the profits in the coming years as more and more people will move up the social ladder. Number 10. Huichao Maltai – $202.76 billion Leading luxury brand in China, Kuechao Maotai is specialized in the production and sales of Maotai liquor, together with the production and sale of beverages, food and packaging material, among other things. The production technique of this liquor is both a protected state secret, as well as a national, intangible cultural heritage of China. It's the world's largest distiller and the most valuable liquor company, claiming the top spot since April of 2017. 
Also Aluxers, if you want to find out some more about this industry, click in the top right corner to watch our video, The 15 Things You Didn't Know About the Alcohol Industry. Number 9. China Construction Bank – $219.08 billion as one of the biggest and oldest banks on our list, CCB has a rich history in providing quality services to the People's Republic of China, as well as many other countries around the world. After the 2008 global recession, China expanded their loan policies, which in turn helped the bank increase their profits for years. And as the country continues to develop economically, China's construction bank will only see a rise in their profit numbers at the end of each fiscal year. Number 8. Toyota Motors – $228.06 billion If there's anyone left in this world who doesn't know about Toyota at this point in time, we'll take a wild leap and say that's a little miracle. Toyota has traditionally gotten the basics right – quality, reliability, resale value, and customer service, which led to their massive success over the years. As the largest automobile company in the world, Toyota has been around since 1937, and they had their share of problems throughout the years, especially recently with massive quality problems and production hiatus due to some earthquakes. But you can expect the company to pull themselves together, get back up, and continue to provide everyone with the high-quality products they've gotten us used to. Number 7. Ping An Insurance Group – $228.88 billion A little over 30 years ago, Ping An began its activity as a pure property casualty insurer and quickly grew to become the second largest insurance company in the country right after state-owned China Life. In recent years, it's been restructuring with the aim of becoming a financial conglomerate that can handle a variety of insurance, focused especially on business, banking, and investments. You know, the higher-end stuff. Number 6. Industrial and Commercial Bank of China – $294.67 billion This one is by far the largest bank in China as well as the world, and it's also the last bank on our list, we promise. What's more, they're also the world's most profitable lender and the largest one by market cap. Adhering to a customer-centric, market-oriented business philosophy, the bank is committed to developing itself into a bank with top value creation capability. ICBC strives to achieve the balance between short-term and long-term benefits, as well as between business goals and social responsibilities, so as to maximize the value for customers, shareholders, society, and its associates. And Aluxers, if you're interested in finding out some more about this, watch our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About the Banking Industry, by clicking in the top right corner. Number 5. Taiwan Semiconductor – $304.68 billion here we are at number 5 with the world's largest dedicated independent semiconductor foundry. For those of you who are not familiar with this, semiconductors are employed in the manufacturing of various kinds of electronic devices, such as diodes, transistors, and integrated circuits to name a few. Having such a large and diverse customer base helps TSMC smoothen the fluctuations in demand, which in turn helps the company maintain higher levels of capacity utilization and profitability. Number 4. Samsung Electronics – $316.11 billion You probably know them by their incredibly popular smartphones or TVs, however they have much more than that. Founded back in 1938, Samsung is a massive conglomerate that specializes in the production of a large variety of consumer and industrial electronics, including digital media services, memory chips, semiconductors, home appliances, and integrated systems. They've come a long way since the late 1930s, which is when they started as a grocery store. And probably the most impressive fact about Samsung is they are still a family-run business. Number 3. Tencent Holdings $492.43 billion This Chinese giant, founded back in 1998, is a venture company, a conglomerate, an investment holding, and one of the largest gaming companies in the world. They sure do have their fingers in a lot of pies. Considering how many things they specialize in, Tencent provides an array of services and products, including social networks, mobile games, payment portals, e-commerce, and multiplayer online games, just to name a few. And they're all top-notch services in their respective categories. With the rapid development in technology in pretty much every sector, it's safe to assume that the company's profits will surge, not to mention it's estimated the company will reach a market valuation of $1 trillion in the coming years. Number 2. Alibaba – $600.76 billion Coming down to the silver spot, we have one of the largest virtual trading platforms in China and the world. 
It's attracted the eyes of buyers all around the planet for having both affordable prices and a large variety of goods. Founded in 1999 by Jack Ma, Alibaba specializes in e-commerce, retail, online payments, and internet content services. It's almost astounding how far they've come in only 20 plus years, but thanks to the determination and tenacity of its founder, this company has become a behemoth in the online space. Also with many countries rapidly developing and expanding their economies, Alibaba's profits can only go up. Number 1. Saudi Aramco 1.9 trillion dollars. And finally, Aluxers, we're down to number one, and we're sure it's no surprise to some of you. But if you haven't heard, Saudi Arabia's National Petroleum and Gas Company went public a few months ago and stunned everyone with its IPO. Saudi Aramco was started back in the early 1930s by a small group of intrepid explorers and has quickly become the pillar of Saudi Arabia's economy. However, the current leader of the country wants to shift its source of revenue from oil and gas to renewables and other avenues. It'll be interesting to see where things go, but until then, Saudi Aramco is the number one company in Asia, as well as the entire world in terms of market cap. And that's a wrap, Aluxers, the top 15 most valuable Asian companies in 2020 so far. Were you surprised by any of them? Let us know in the comments which one surprised you the most. And of course, for those of you who stuck with us this far, here's the bonus you're waiting for. We mentioned at the beginning of this list that it's the world's most valuable public companies indexed by market cap. But there's also a list with the world's most valuable private companies, and according to our estimates, the most valuable company in the world is China's state-owned Assets Supervision and Administration Commission, which is pretty much an entity that controls other state-owned companies, and if it were to ever go public, it would be worth nearly 8 trillion US dollars. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.